lost. And many of us sit in church and destinies are lost. We become great intercessors. We pray night and day, hours. Prayer is not the equation of money. Prayer will never give you money. Prayer will only give you revelation. So that then you know what to do. And when you do what you need to do, then God will move. Amen. Amen. Are we together? Amen. Amen. So Joseph is tested. He passes the test. He takes the food. I mean, just imagine that when he got to the place where his brothers used to, uh, to take care of the sheep and rear their sheep there, he could not find them. He could have thought in his mind that this food will end up becoming bad, uh, isn't it? Let me just eat it. After all, if you walked all this way, I'm also hungry. But he, he would not have known that he was eating his, his future. Listen, 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 carefully. Whenever God gives you money, you must realize this thing. This is very important. If you don't listen to anything, realize this thing. When the children of Israel got to Egypt, the scripture says that Joseph, after he had revealed himself, he, he took his silver cup and put it on the mouth of the sick and then closed it up and gave them to go and give their father. Joseph wanted to test and see, because he had been tested before, he wanted to test and see whether his brothers qualified for Goshen. If they had not retained the cup, they would never have gone to Goshen. They would have eaten their food. Hallelujah. But the silver cup is the tithe that you always receive within the 90% of your money. The first thing that when you get a, a hundred rand that you see is the silver cup. And that is the time. When you eat that, you eat your future. You eat your destiny. You forfeit what God can do in your life. And this is the most sad thing that in life you realize because we are not sacrificial. Some of us were born and we did not even.